Right now, I'm going to show you how to add endless depth of fields to flat photographs, just really make them pop and come alive by creating a graduated, realistic looking depth of field effect. You know, where the background goes blurry, but not just suddenly blurry at once, but slowly over time. Now, there's a couple of little tricks in there that I think you guys are going to enjoy. <laughs> Hey Cafe Crew, Colin Smith here from PhotoshopCafe.com and today I'm going to show you the quickest way I know to create a realistic looking graduated depth of field. What does that mean? We're basically going to get a photograph and it's going to fall out of focus and blurry into the background over time like it would in the real world. So I'm going to show you the quickest technique that I know but also how to get it super realistic. So let's get started. Here's a picture I did uh, last year at the Super Bloom with a uh, violinist Taylor Davis and everything's kind of, there's a little bit of blur here, but it's kind of flat. So what we're going to do is we're going to add this depth of field. It's super easy. First thing I want to do though, and you'll see why in a little bit, is convert this to a smart object. This is going to give us the flexibility we need later on. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to choose filter. Don't go down to the blur, go further, go down to the blur gallery, and we're going to choose field blur. And here we are inside the field blur menu. So essentially how this works is there's a little wheel here and the higher I turn it, the more blur we get, the lower, the less blur we get. Very, very simple. And we can see here there's a blur slider. Now it doesn't do anything on its own until I add a second point. So I'm going to click and I'm going to add a second point. Now by default, both of these are going to be 15 or more or less. I want this one to be zero. So the quick way to do it is to hold down control. That would be command on Mac, double click, and that takes it to zero. And now what happens is the blur happens between the two points. So we could bring it here. We could have blur going off to the sides, underneath. See what's happening as I'm moving this, this blur goes around. In fact, why don't I put this point right in the middle of Taylor. So we could have it going off this way, off to the side, the bottom, and it's, it's looking pretty good. So let's do the top. I'm going to take this down a little bit. So we get this nice blur going off into this super bloom. Now, of course, you can see there's a problem right now. And that's that Taylor is also blurred. We want her sharp and we want the background blurred. So let's click OK to apply it first. So what do we need to do? We need to cut her out. There's two things we're going to deal with. But let me start with the first one. I'm just going to hide the smart filter, which is why we use the smart filter. And then just go down, grab the quick selection tool. Now, if you're using Photoshop CC 2019 or higher, just click on select subject and it will find a subject. Otherwise, use the quick select and make that selection yourself or magic wand or whatever your favorite tool is. All right, great. So now we've got her selection here. So let's turn our filter back on. And if we turn our filter on, here we go, just by clicking the little icon there. Notice that blur is there. We could go into this mask and we could fill it. So I'm going to hit Alt Backspace. And the reason I did that is because we're filling it with black and it adds a mask in there. Now, this looks pretty good. But the only problem is if we go in close, notice we get this little edge blur here. Now, this might be a problem you've been dealing with a lot. I've got a great way to get rid of that. So what we're going to do is I'm going to hit the command or control key and click on our layer mask. And what that does is it just loads our selection once again. Now, I just want to inverse this. That's command shift I. And the reason is I only want to select Taylor. I don't want to select everything else. And I'm going to copy this to a new layer. Control or command J. All right, so we've created a copy of it. What I'm going to do right now is I'm going to right click and I want to rasterize the layer. And then what that does is it just rasterizes everything down. And I'm just going to hit Control or Command J one more time. And then what that's doing is it's cutting out. We can see here we've just got Taylor by herself. Excellent. Now we've still got that blur to deal with. So why don't we double click on our smart object down here. And this will take the smart object into a new layer. We want to load the selection again, so I could just choose the same thing again. Let's just select subject because it's the quickest way to do it. 
And I just want to expand this a little bit. So we're going to choose Select, Modify, Expand. And just a couple of pixels is all we need. And what that does is it gives us a selection just a little bit bigger than that area. And now I'm going to hit Shift, Delete. And that would be Enter Backspace on Windows. Choose Content Aware, click OK. And this will fill it in. Great. Command D to turn off the selection. It's not perfect, but that's good enough for our purpose. Let's close it out. I'll ask if we want to save it. Yes, we will. All right, then when we look at this, if we hide our top layer, notice that it's all filled in there. And you can see we've got our mask, but we've got our blur. But if we look on the edges of that blur, you're not getting the edges of Taylor anymore. We're getting the edge of that content aware. All right, so as you can see, now we get a perfect depth of field effect. Happens really quick, and the more you do it, the quicker you're going to get at it. So right now, we've got summer is just about to happen in the northern hemisphere. In the southern hemisphere, it's about to be winter. What are you going to shoot this year? Let us know in the comments underneath. So anyway, guys, if you like this, hit the subscribe button right now. You'll get a new tutorial from me every single week. Ring the notification bell when you know when I upload, which is every Tuesday. If you like this, smash the like button into dust. Don't keep the secret. Share this with your friends. And until next time, I'll see you at the cafe.